Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and here with a couple of, or starting with a couple, Indiana Jones set reviews. Just, well, just a couple of which. And, and so now, why, you ask? Well, since at this time, the rumor has it that we are to be getting the Indiana Jones line once again this fall. Since the at the time of this recording, we are, are hearing that, but also that next year is when the fifth movie will be out. So thought it'd be nice to do just a couple of these classic sets to, for that. But anyways, so today in which we have Jungle Duel, which you're looking at, and also Motorcycle Chase from 2008-9, of course. So on the front of the box here, which have the Lego logo, Indiana Jones logo, and that nice border to it, and of course with the whip there, obviously. And also picture of everything that there is, and age recommendation is 6 through 12, set number 7624 has 90 pieces, and also saying Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, since of course it's when, since of course these were put out for that one's release, but eventually we'll do so for the upcoming fifth one, of course. And flip to the back of the box, see all of that again, some of the features of it. And of course, add for the Indiana Jones video game, of course, and yeah. And on to the instruction manual. Same picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. Then add of Lego Club, add of the Indiana Jones video game, of course. And then add for some of the other sets from the time, and that one of which next that we next next throwback Thursday of course and then also the full build of the set and the pieces included and the last building steps <clears throat> so first part is all the mini things included Is that first of which we have the uh, Gates Keeper, of course, which has some nice front torso printing, but all of these, not very much, not all have like printing, probably because they're older figures, of course, and then, of course, holding the classic pistol there, of course, and classic aviation goggles and nice face print to there. And then uh, also we have what is a uh, is Dr. Henry Jones, or otherwise Indy Senior, of course, with some nice printings to him, like, and of course, and face print totally well captures it, and, and of course, classic hat piece from like Adventurers and all, and also nice printed map piece just for that. And in the center is Indiana Jones himself, which is included in both these sets, and this version we have seen in quite some, quite a bit of the sets, but. Although, what I don't understand is, since this was for the fourth film, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and a few from the first three as well, but, but this one was included in both ways, to which I ask, why not, like, for C Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, why not just make the specs, or let the scruff have a little grate in it, since he was much older in Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, of course. Of course, but maybe we'll see that for the new uh, wave, of course, but yeah. But aside from that, has the front torso printing and the nice satchel piece that we've seen a lot of times after, and classic wit piece, of course, and has some good torso printing with the uh, belt and whatnot, and also the classic fedora hat piece, which nowadays might be, a, which might end up as a, uh, what do you call it, a dual molded hair hat combo piece. So, yeah. And then next to which we have Mutt Williams, which is his, which is his and Mary Ravenwood's son in Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, of course. And of course, like this, like the torso print we have seen on most custom figs, of course, and also nice face print, kind of similar to that of Jay's in Ninjago, and also hair piece, also common of Jay in Ninjago, and not at all in the, the like printings, but that's okay. And last of which is, uh, I forget the name, from the fourth film, uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, of course, but 
and of course wielding that classic sword piece and also hero piece of which just like that of Nia in Ninjago's of course and also nice torso printing not only leg printing which I think they should have included but yeah and also nice face printing and yeah and it's look on to the back of the figure which it has the not at all the back torso printing and nor double side faces is since they're all older figures of course and that is it with all the figs obviously and so now on to the motorcycle chase set is well, that one build of which is Mostly this, like, little uh, front gateway piece, which may have just very few bricks to it. Oh, and also, off to the side, is a simple flag pole with the classic flag piece and whatnot. And, of course, the gate part that just goes up and down, obviously. Maybe with some red and white tiles on there. And, of course, a pair of jagged slopes as well. And if look from the back part of which, just kind of barren and all. And of course, a couple of crates that don't have anything at all in them. Would have been nice if they did. But then, also, you get the classic kind of motorcycle piece or double piece, of course, that we've seen plenty of times before. And of course, enough space to fit your odd soldier on to of course and also get is which another one of them but with the sidecar obviously and enough space to fit both your Indiana Jones fig on to of course and also a couple of clip also the sidecar which does have the classic backpack piece there and of course the classic or and also one for the wit piece and also Quite effective for very few pieces, obviously. And also nice use of the car rim piece there. And yeah. And enough space to fit your indie scene here thing onto them. Yeah. So that is about it with motorcycle chase. And now on to the builds of jungle duel. So first off for the a little accessories are these classic ant pieces, which representing the like killer ants in the film, obviously. Well, we do get these in a couple other sets as well, but and of course, all the, eventually they did recolor these in blue or black in 2015 for Ant Man, of course. So nice to see these in red, obviously. But yes. Yeah. And also you get the, the simple uh, campfire piece with a few cones and a regular flame piece and one of those odd pieces in it. Yeah. And also you get a crate that has an extra knife there, which is kind of extra for Mutt Williams to have, obviously. And also the classic backpack piece and banana and drumstick there. And also you get a little... Uh, weapons rack here, or sword rack here, as you have three different kinds of sword pieces, and it does uh, kind of rotate just a slight bit, like the classic katana, and classic castle sword, and of course, other sword, obviously. And of course, both kinds of leaf pieces there, and a 4x4 four four plate, on it, obviously, and yeah. <coughs> and also, yeah. Also has this little table bit of it with like sitting stand and also get the same exact kind of map piece that was included in the other set and classic red mug and also a pan and a little lantern there. And the feature is you can like break in and out since it has the two classic tooth pieces to interlock with the slot in there to make it whole, obviously. So, well done feature for something with a few pieces, obviously. And the main build of which is the tent. Whereas, although the tent upper part of it, which we 
term is kind of close to that of like 90s uh, adventures lines obviously and of course built on very few plate pieces of obviously and also a little uh, other plate piece in the back to hold together although it would have been nice if it was in the front part as well so you can have it fully enclosed obviously maybe but whatever you know has some good printings around for like these patches and stitching and that thing and also that and same on the other side as well and so now on to the final work on these two So for my overall verdict is, I think these of which are quite good sets for the time. Like, you got plenty of extra stuff to offer, and also a good selection of mini pigs, and of course, one of which cheap way to include the fire or killer ants, uh, and obviously. And also one of which good cheap way to get Indie Senior, uh, of course. There's, and if these were remade eventually, well... I think they could have included a bit more, of course, but yeah. There's Indel, so. So as for the price per piece, well, although these are which quite a bit of a sign of the times where you got plenty of X, plenty of good stuff for a small, cheap price, but although eventually you could get that with, like, eventually nowadays with, like, Star Wars Battle Packs or Kenjaku Spinners and everything, and yeah. And so now if y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.